Let's use those videos as an example. To start, drag and drop them to the timeline. Next, when you reach the point where you want to add the ink effect transition between two video clips, head over to the Transitions tab. Find the ink transition. Drag and drop it between the two video clips. Adjust the duration of the transition to match the length you desire between the two video clips. You can easily do this by dragging the edges of the transition effect on the timeline. Preview the transition to ensure it looks just the way you want it to. Once you're satisfied, simply click Apply to All and watch the magic happen as the transition is applied to all your clips seamlessly. Now let me play the video and show you what we have. Let's use this video as an example. To start, drag and drop it to the timeline. Next, head over to pixels.com or pixabay.com and grab some glitch effect overlays. These overlays work like magic, giving your videos that trendy, glitchy, and cool look. Now, drag and drop the glitch effect overlays onto your video clips in the timeline. You have the flexibility to adjust how long they last and place it where you want to add the glitch effect. Click on the overlay, go to Video Basic. Click Blend, experiment with different blend modes for the glitch effect overlay to achieve the desired look. Common blend modes for glitch effects include Screen, Darken, or Overlay. Then, select the glitch overlay, add the animation fade in and fade out. Remember, sound is crucial. Find glitchy sound effects in CapCut's library and add them to your video. Ensure they sync perfectly with the visuals. Now let me play the video and show you what we have. If you found this video helpful, please give this video a thumbs up, share it, and subscribe to our channel for more tutorials.
Thanks for watching. I need you, baby. Let's use those videos as an example. Drag and drop them into the timeline. The video before the transition is placed on the first layer, and the video after the transition is placed on the second layer. Click on the second layer. Go to the Video Mask tab. Choose Horizontal Shape. Rotate minus 90 degrees. Move the mask line to the left until it is out of the screen. Then move the playhead until the tree blocking fully appears. Add a little mask feathering. Then add a mask keyframe. Move the play head forward by two frames. Adjust the mask line to position the tree. Move the play head forward by two frames. Adjust the mask line to position the tree. Continue this process until the tree blocking fully disappear. Now let me play the video and show you what we have. Next, we can add a sound effect. Search for a transition sound in the audio library, add it to your project. Adjust the length of the audio and the speed of the video so that they match each other. Bam. 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 And there you have it. Bam. I hope this tutorial was helpful to you. Please give this video a thumbs up, share it, and subscribe to our channel for more tutorials. Thanks for watching. Let's dive in. To start, copy and paste your video clip. Then let's select the copied video. Head over to Adjustments to fine tune the colors by adjusting saturation, hues, brightness, contrast, and sharpening the footage. After adjustment, go to the mask option, choose the horizontal mask and position it accordingly.
Set keyframes to create the transition effect by moving the mask from left to right. You can also feather out the mask for a smoother transition. Add keyframes at the second video beginning. Drag your cursor, move forward, and then drag the mask line, another keyframe auto add. If you are not satisfied with the color adjustment, you can continue to click Adjustment to make color adjustments. Now let me play the video and show you what we have. If you found this video helpful, please give this video a thumbs up Share it and subscribe to our channel for more tutorials. Thanks for watching. Let's take these videos as an example. Drag and drop the video into the timeline. Move the second video to where you want to add a video transition. Select the second video clip, go to the mask option and choose the horizontal style. Make sure the cursor at the second video beginning. Rotate and move the mask line to the far left. Then add mask keyframes. Drag your cursor, move forward. And then drag the mask line to the far right. Another keyframe auto add. Next, add the green screen hand footage above it on the timeline. There is a download link in the video description. You can download it yourself. Click on the green screen hand footage. Go to Cutout. Click the chroma key and select the green color. Adjust the intensity and shadow settings until the green screen background disappears, leaving only the hand visible. Take the hand image at the beginning and add potion and size keyframes. Drag your cursor, go to the same position of the second keyframe in the middle video. Then drag from left to right the hand image, another keyframe auto add. Preview the transition and refine the timing or positioning as needed for a captivating effect. If you found this video helpful, please give this video a thumbs up, share it, and subscribe to our channel for more tutorials. Thanks for watching.